Hello and welcome to this new product developed by the NavalArc.com, which helps the user calculate the environment forces, which is the current and the wind forces on a VLCC. A VLCC is a tanker of deadweight in the range 150,000 to 500,000 tons. This one is based on the OCIMF Mooring Equipment Guidelines 3rd Edition. In the Appendix A of these guidelines, the theory and all the graphs and charts for the calculation are provided. One thing to note here is that while this spreadsheet is typically for VLCCs, as per recent model tests these graphs and charts can be used for smaller ships too, down to approximately 16,000 tons of deadweight. The importance of this spreadsheet lies in the fact that once the forces of wind and current are calculated for the given environment, these forces can be further used to carry out some analyses like mooring analysis when the VLCC is moored in the sea or to the quayside. Let's take a tour of this sheet. This Excel sheet asks for some inputs of the vessel and of the environment. Based on these inputs, and based on the formulae and charts given in Appendix A of Mooring Equipment Guidelines, this spreadsheet will calculate the outputs, which are the current force and the wind force, and also the yaw moment. The coordinate system is shown in this figure, and some clarifications, assumptions, and limitations of this spreadsheet are also provided below that. Let's go to the next worksheet which is the inputs of the vessel. It requires some general inputs and the principal particulars of the vessel. It also requires what kind of loading condition, whether it is fully loaded or ballasted, and what is the bow type of the vessel, whether it is conventional or a cylindrical bow type. Next, the user is also required to give the transverse and the longitudinal windage areas of the vessel. Next is the inputs on the environment in which the user is required to provide the design wind speed and the wind angle, and similarly the design current speed and the current angle. The directions for providing the angles is shown in this diagram below. 0 degrees is for following C, 180 degrees is for head C, and it is measured in an anti-clockwise manner. Another parameter required is the water depth. The water depth to draft ratio is critical in determining the current coefficients. For smaller water depth to draft ratio, the current coefficients are higher. Once the inputs are provided, the spreadsheet can calculate the outputs. The first output is the wind force, which is calculated based on the wind force coefficients provided in the Appendix A of Mooring Equipment Guidelines. The graphs used are shown here, and the corresponding values are also shown. With the longitudinal, lateral, and the wind yaw moment coefficients calculated, the final forces and the moment are calculated in this worksheet. Next is the output on the current forces. In a similar fashion the current coefficients, longitudinal, lateral, and the wind yaw moment coefficients are calculated from the charts. These charts vary with the loading condition of the tanker, whether it is loaded or ballasted. The shape of the bow, whether it is a conventional or cylindrical bow, also affects the current forces. The final current forces are calculated from the current coefficients. That was about the Spreset sheet for environmental forces calculation on a VLCC based on OCIMF mooring equipment guidelines. This spreadsheet is useful to provide the inputs for some further analysis like mooring analysis which requires the current and the wind forces as inputs. To download the spreadsheet please visit the website thenavalarc.com and please provide us your valuable feedback. Thank you very much.